Hello and marhaba, I'm Henia and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be preparing a traditional honeyed semolina galette that's cooked on a tajin or even a cast iron skillet. Imbis or matakba is delicious Algerian galette that's melted in your mouth delicious. Made of semolina and butter, it's very similar to branch, makrot or even the Moroccan harsha. This galette is very easy and quick to prepare. All the ingredients that you're going to need are listed up on the screen as well as in the description box below. The main ingredient of our dish is going to be medium grain durum semolina, as you can see here. We're also going to be using milk powder, as you can see here, as well as salt, melted butter, and water that I've mixed in with just a little bit of orange blossom water. So we're going to begin by adding our semolina in with our milk powder and salt. And then I'm going to add in the melted butter. In Kabylia, they like to use olive oil, which gives it a nice distinct flavor. Now I'm going to make sure that I mix all of that well, getting all the grains of the semolina well coated with the melted butter or olive oil if that's what you're using. And then I'm going to gradually add in the water a little at a time until I form a nice smooth dough. So you want to mix and slowly add in the water in increments until you do have your nice smooth dough. As you can see here that I'm doing, you want to grab and smush, grab and smush it all together until it forms a nice, supple, smooth dough. Once you've mixed your dough, cover it with a clean kitchen towel and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes on your countertop. Here's our dough after the resting time, as you can see here. It's nice and soft. I'm going to divide it into two so it's easier for me to work with. So I'm taking one ball of dough and rolling it into a nice little ball and then flattening it out with my hands. Now with a rolling pin, roll out your dough to have a thickness about the size of your thumb. Now you can cut the dough into portions using a knife or you can optionally use cookie cutters as I'm doing here. Remove the excess dough and lift off with a spatula and place onto a tray. Repeat the process until you've used all of your dough. There are other forms of imbis which are fried in oil just like makarot, but today we're going to be preparing a healthier version which I'm going to be cooking on my tajin or a cast iron skillet. Once you've cut and prepared all of your dough, cover it with a clean kitchen towel and set it aside until you're ready to break them off. Now preheat your tajin or your skillet on a medium heat and be sure to keep your dough covered until you're ready to bake them off. Once your tajin or your skillet is hot, place all of your dough on the pan, making sure you don't overcrowd the pan. You can optionally decorate your dough by using a knife to cut impressions into the dough or optionally even use cookie cutters to do that. Now bake your galettes on each side, making sure that you turn them occasionally and keep them moving around in the pan so that they don't get too brown or burnt. Now continue to bake off all the remainder dough.
You can then turn all of your galettes on their side and bake them at each side, making sure that even the sides are nicely golden brown. Here are our galettes at the table. These are often served with mint tea or cafe latte for breakfast or even enjoyed with an afternoon cuppa. I like to generously digital these with honey that's perfumed with orange blossom water, but you can optionally dip the galettes in honey. These galettes are traditionally served with buttermilk for sohor during the holy month of Ramadan. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to support my channel, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching and peace be upon you.